Well, as DPW continues to find the source of the contamination, the city is making or taking proactive measures, notifying residents, flushing the system, and handing out bottled water. You need one of these, bro? Thank you, sir. You are. That's crazy. Searching for clean water is not how many West Baltimore residents plan to spend the last day of their holiday weekend. That is E. coli in the water and that has been contaminated and we need to see why and what's going to happen in this community. The Boyle Water Advisory is being met with anger, frustration and concern in the Sandtown, Winchester and Harlem Park neighborhoods. Can I wash my clothes? No. Can I drink the water out of my refrigerator filtered? No. Not, not, not safe. I shouldn't take a chance. DPW is flushing the system after the discovery of E. coli bacteria at neighborhood police and fire stations. The city is advising residents to boil water or use bottled water as a precaution. Everyone we see, we try to be in contact and let them know. To get the word out, DPW placed flyers in the doorways of occupied homes. The city set up water stations handing out one-gallon jugs. A lane on Calhoun Street was coned off for people to pick up water from their cars. How is this going to inconvenience you today? A lot. I love water. We can't drink tap water. We need some clean water. Some who walked to get clean water were upset about the small amount, especially if the advisory lasts more than a day. Children need to drink water. We have a Head Start 3 year old over here. The children need to drink water. They need to have water to wash their face, brush their teeth. They need water to bathe. How about bathing? One gallon per household is not going to do it. Contractors for DPW spent the day performing leak detection, valve assessments, and increasing chlorination in the area. This is not, not fair to people living here, but it, things happen. Once DPW confirms the water is safe, the boil water advisory will be lifted and residents will be notified. But until that happens, the agency is advising bring water to a boil for a minute to kill the bacteria. Reporting live from West Baltimore, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.